the formidable robot. In May of 1999, Nickelodeon premiered a new show called SpongeBob SquarePants. The episode, Help Wanted, Reef Blower, Tea at the Tree Dome, introduced the world to the quirky undersea life of SpongeBob and his friends. But for some viewers, the end of this premiere was far from the light-hearted ending they expected, it was a nightmarish experience that would haunt them for years to come. As the episode wrapped up and the credits rolled, everything seemed normal. The usual jaunty tune played, and the colorful names of the show's creators scrolled by. But at the 45 minutes mark, something went terribly wrong. The credits suddenly glitched, freezing momentarily before the screen was consumed by static. When the picture returned, the usual credit sequence had vanished. In its place was the familiar yellow and white flower background, but the names were missing. Instead, a nearly low-pitched and distorted version of the closing theme played in reverse, creating a spine-chilling atmosphere. Suddenly, words began to appear on the screen. These words the names of animators or voice actors. They were messages, hateful and crude, directed at the audience. Why are you watching this, one read. Losers, said another. The insults kept coming, each one more aggressive than the last. Viewers sat in stunned silence, unable to look away. As the messages continued to appear, the screen flickered and distorted. The unsettling soundtrack grew louder and more discordant, as if the very fabric of the show was unraveling. Instead of the usual United Plankton Pictures Incorporated logo, only the empty water background remained. The familiar illustrated plankton holding hands were gone as well. The final blow came with the closing Nicktoons logo. The once vibrant orange splat was now a blank lifeless shape with no text, no show name, and no copyright date. It lingered on the screen for what felt like an eternity before the screen went black. Moments later, a technical difficulties screen appeared, featuring the Nickelodeon logo in front of a white background. Beneath the logo, black text read. Nickelodeon is currently having technical difficulties at the moment, we'll be right back as soon as we can. Sorry about that. This screen stayed up for a few minutes before the broadcast resumed, but the damage had already been done. Parents and children alike were left bewildered and terrified. Calls flooded into Nickelodeon's headquarters, but the network claimed ignorance. They said it must have been a technical glitch, an anomaly that would never happen again. But those who witnessed it knew better. They had seen something they weren't meant to see, a dark undercurrent beneath the cheerful facade of their beloved cartoon. To this day, the SpongeBob credits incident remains one of the most disturbing and unexplained events in television history. Some believe it was a prank by a disgruntled employee, while others think it was something far more sinister. Whatever the truth, the memory of those hateful messages and that haunting distorted tune continues to send shivers down the spines of those who were there to see it. The only known footage of this incident is a video uploaded onto YouTube called, The SpongeBob Credits Incident, 1999, Found Footage. The video, grainy and aged, captures the terrifying experience in all its unsettling detail, preserving the bizarre moment for future generations to witness and wonder about.